welcome back. In the previous lecture, we discussed the major uses of JavaScript. In this lesson, we will learn about the versions of JavaScript. JavaScript is one of the world's most popular and widespread programming languages. Since its inception in 1995, the language has ultimately come to be known as JavaScript. It has gone through several iterations and versions. JavaScript was invented by Brendan Eich in 1995 and became an ECMA standard in the year 1997. Brendan Eich's story is super interesting. He was hired at Netscape Communications Corporation in April 1995 to perform a Herculean task. He had to create a working prototype of a programming language for the Netscape web browser. But do you know how many days he was given to perform this Herculean task? Well, make a guess. Six months, or probably three months, or probably one month. No, he was given just 10 days. Yes, guys, you heard it right. 10 days. I know that sounds completely insane, but just consider the stakes. The pace of innovation in the mid-90s was intense. Microsoft had just released Windows 95, which included an integrated Internet Explorer that posed a serious threat to Netscape. Netscape had a slightly different vision for their browser. They considered the web browser as a new form of distributed OS instead of a single application. The problem was that HTML was insufficient for the functionality that they envisioned, so they needed a new language and they needed it fast. His success with JavaScript came down to the fact that it was a simplified object model and combined some of the best features of Java, C, Smalltalk and Lisp. But not only that, JavaScript turned out to be adaptable. And our hero, Brendan Eich, he changed the World Wide Web direction forever in these 10 days. ECMA script is the official name of the language. Here, E stands for European, C stands for computer, M stands for manufacturers, and A, it stands for association. So ECMA International is a company that standardizes information and communication systems. ECMA International took Netscape's JavaScript and Microsoft's JScript to create a standardization called ECMA script, a language specification that both the languages are based upon. ECMA was not able to be called JavaScript because JavaScript was a trademark held by Sun Microsystems, which later became Oracle. ECMA script versions have been abbreviated to ES1, ES2, ES3, ES5, and ES6. ES5 and ES6 are the latest and the most widely used because of their properties. So we will explore some of the features that the JavaScript versions ES5 and ES6 have brought to the table. Let us start with ES5. ECMA Script 2009, also known as ES5, was the first major revision to JavaScript. ES5 supports primitive data types that are string, number, boolean, null, and undefined. Don't worry if some or all of these functions and features are sounding alien to you. You will become a pro in these very, very soon. Trust me on that. Now, the idea is to introduce you to the idea of ECMA script, ES5 and ES6. So let us start with a list of ES5 features. Use strict. Prior to ES5, undeclared variables, the variables that do not use the VAR keyword initially introduced. They were allowed to be used. When the use strict feature is turned on, a reference error is thrown. Example, use strict x equal to 2, reference error colon x is not defined. In this example, we declared a variable x without writing as var in the beginning due to ES5 specification. Use strict, an error is thrown. New array methods. ES5 introduced new array methods that made life easier working with arrays. Some of the array methods are every, filter, 
for each index of and last index of is array map sum reduce new date methods es5 has two new date methods date dot now and date dot veil off we shall learn about in detail in our further lectures with examples well this was all about es5 and its features i hope you understood the properties of es5 from this lesson no doubt es5 standard paved the way for making javascript code more readable now let us move on to learn about es6 7 years after the release of es5 es6 became a standard in june 2015 ES6 was the second major revision to JavaScript. Let us understand this in detail. In ES6, one of the new things is default parameters. This allows us to add default values to our function parameters so that we can avoid passing them in when calling on functions. Constant keyword. The idea of constants which are essentially values or variables that do not change. JavaScript classes. It is actually a huge one coming to JavaScript or that has already come into the JavaScript ecosystem. This allows us to add object oriented behavior in JavaScript. We also have arrow functions which are ways to simplify our function syntax and create really quick functions that have very fast and quick to implement functionality. It basically makes a process even faster. Deconstructing There is the idea of deconstructing which is essentially allowing our compiler to interpret values without us explicitly having to state them especially when dealing with dictionaries and objects promises so there is also the concept of promises basically they provide a clean and safe way to guarantee that something will have a value especially when paired with asynchronous functions This sums up about ES5 and ES6. Yes, this lecture covered a lot in theory, but don't worry, we will make up all that in the next few lectures. But next time whenever you attend that nerd night out, don't let people scare you with this ES6 and ES5 mumbo jumbo. So stay tuned and keep learning. Bye.